Good afternoon all you beekeepers out there. It is February 26, 2021 and this is Gary back from GNA and Honeybees and it's about 10 degrees Celsius for the first time in a while which is about 50 Fahrenheit and um, I just wanted to have a quick look into the uh, feeders on the tops of the hives and see where the bees are clustered up at. Now, as you can see over here, there was my hive one, and like I say, was. Um, after that uh, video I shot in January about them being alive, well, they didn't last long after that, for some unknown reason. They had uh, plenty of food, there was a pollen patty in there, but they hadn't touched the pollen patty, and uh, they were making a lot of noise, so I'm going to cut the, a clip of that in here now, and then you can see for yourselves. I really don't know what happened to them. They just died. So I packed away the box and uh, put them away. So this is the first day of sun that we've had in a considerable amount of time. It has been like, uh, you know, minus five, minus six degrees Celsius uh, with a wind chill down around minus 10, minus 12. <clears throat> and there's actually a few bees flying in and out of this hive here which is good to see I don't see any activity out of the other one but um, let me get the stand set up here and then we'll open up these these lids and, and see what we got so I'm trying something a little different this year I put um, a burlap bag on the top of these girls to see if that would make any difference but um, I don't know if you can the camera's going to pick it up but you can see the girls they're in the sugar feeder there's none in the back here but the front of the hive facing the south I don't know if that's going to show up or not but there's all kinds of them right there looking out so the cluster's at the front because it's facing the south. It's prep, that's where it's the warmest. So let's just lift that off a little bit and see. Yeah. Yeah, they're looking okay. That's a good sign that they made it through winter. So here, let me get the top back on this one and uh, We'll open up the other one. Well, there's bees in the back here. See them down through the screen there. Let's take that off there for a minute. Oh, there's a good bunch of bees They're having a little snack. Get back in there, young lady. And we have a good cluster of bees at the front there. I was taking these little sticks just to stand them up so that the burlap wouldn't fall down over the vent and completely block it off because the vent holes are right in the front of the box here. Well, they're looking good. So let me get these covered up. All right, so we've had a quick look into them. And I don't know, this is the first time I've ever had to put a brick on the lids. 
The wind was a couple of weeks ago was blowing so hard back here it lifted these lids right off. Rain was pouring into the box and I thought that was going to do them in but it seemed they seem to have gotten through that okay. But the wind has been atrocious. It's like every day last night it was up to what they say like 70 or 80 kilometers an hour again. And it's just been day after day after day of wind, rain, and it's torrential rain, not just a little bit. See, we have a, a few out. And I was over at the remote location earlier. There's a few flying out there too, and some of them were actually bringing in a bit of pollen. And the nuke, to my surprise, seems to have fared through the cold weather and everything just fine so far. But we've got a couple of weeks left yet. Or maybe even three or four weeks left of uh, what could be nasty weather. Oh, it's nice to see them out flying. But it is warmer here than over at the remote location because uh, the remote location is more open. But now I have a, a wind screen on my microphone, so I don't know if it can. It's not bad now, but it was howling earlier. So I'm just hoping that this isn't an indication of what the rest of the summer is going to be like, the spring and summer. But anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all staying safe and well and that your bees are doing well, especially the people down in Texas. I was really surprised to uh, to see that they had gotten snow in like Austin and that hives were just dying left, right and center. So I hope uh, whatever bees you have left are all healthy and well and you're all healthy and well and we'll try to get some more videos out here soon and we'll see what the weather brings for us all right so bye for now